If you're like me, fear of change can cause all sorts of anxiety, and that's exactly why we need to talk about it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And welcome back to another video where this week we are diving deep into the topic of anxiety. And please do me a favor, because not only is anxiety a huge issue, but a lot of people have way too much stress, which can then lead to anxiety because of their fear of change. So I want you to do me this favor and share this video. Share this video because I'm gonna talk about my personal experiences with change, anxiety, and what I do to overcome it, so this video really might help somebody, okay? So I have been going through my own anxiety and depression lately, and when I sat back and and looked at it, a lot of it was purely based on fear. I have a lot of changes happening in my life right now, a lot, or whether it's work or with my relationship, and nothing bad with work or my relationship, but the thing is, especially for those who are anxious, like one of the things that we crave, that we want, that we need is structure. We need things to stay the same. A lot of us are creatures of habit. We set things up in a certain way, we get used to them, and then we don't have to worry about change because when change occurs or change is coming our way, if change is coming in the future, we get fear because we project into the future and our brains, our brains can become our worst enemy and it thinks of every terrible outcome that can possibly happen. And this is something that can consume me. My brain will just latch on to every single terrible situation that might happen. I believe it was Mark Twain who said something along the lines of, and I'm gonna misquote it, so I will put it right here, but he says something along the lines of, the worst things to ever happen to me in my life have never even happened. Something along those lines. And that is just what our brains do. Now, this comes from an evolutionary psychology standpoint. Like, we're supposed to have these responses to change because if our settings change way back in the day, our ancestors, when they were hunters and gatherers, if things change, you might be in danger. You might die. A another tribe might be coming in to overthrow you, uh, a wild animal might come and bite your face off, something crazy, but in this day and age, we don't have to worry about so many things. So this fear, this fear of change is consuming us, but there are some ways to get through it. And one of the biggest issues is that when our fear consumes us, when our anxiety consumes us, it is shutting down the prefrontal cortex, okay? This is our cognitive part of the brain. This is the part of the brain that goes more based on facts rather than emotions. So one of the best things that I've done is talk to people and talk to people about my fears. It was very hard for me to acknowledge that uh, the issues I was dealing with was purely fear-based. And like once I realized that, I had to start telling people. I had to start telling my girlfriend, my friends, my family, like not the whole world, but I had to just talk to some people that I confide in and say, look, I'm scared. I'm scared, okay? And I had to let him know that. And this leads into the next way that I overcome my fear of change. One of them is my friends, my family, the people who love me the most, the people who I surround myself with, they point out my skills. They point out the things I've done in the past. They point out the fact, the pure fact that I have overcome adversity and challenges throughout my life. When I am faced with challenges, when I am backed into a corner, when work Worst case scenarios come my way, I fight my way out of them, all right? This is something that I forget. Like, I do struggle with imposter syndrome. It is easy for me to forget all of the triumphs that I've had. So it's very good to get an outside perspective and have people remind you of these things. So once that ball starts getting rolling, then I'm able to instill my own confidence. Something I try to teach my clients a lot, and it's something that I work on a lot myself, is something called non-identification okay, is separating myself from my thoughts, okay? My thoughts are just my thoughts. I mentioned in the video I did yesterday, we cannot control our thoughts. Thoughts arise, thoughts come, thoughts just appear out of nowhere. We are not in control of our thoughts. So it's important for me to step back and say, okay, these are my thoughts. Now, this technique that I use is to have a conversation with these thoughts, okay? To look at these thoughts and say, okay, what is true, what is false about these situations? So when my brain is worrying and going nuts, some 
thing that I can remind myself of is all of the situations I've had in the past. Like, just to go back to my early stages of addiction, like, I'll do videos about this once I get back to a week about addiction recovery, but like, my first year of recovery was the hardest thing I've ever done. So I thought, until my second year of recovery, I'm talking about being broke, no money, I had a few pairs of clothes, everybody hated me, I had no job, nothing, just absolutely nothing, and look where I'm at today. Look where I'm at today. Look what I accomplished when I had all of the odds against me. Look at that. So, like, just for example, with work, when things are changing at work and I'm afraid of these changes, the reality is, and you gotta balance confidence with cockiness, because cockiness gets us into trouble, but I have to be confident in the fact that no matter what I get tasked with, I succeed. I succeed. I actually work the best when I'm under pressure. Like, it's something that I have a difficult time acknowledging, but like, I love pressure. I love the struggle. I love the fight because it gives me so much to work towards. So when I'm sitting in fear, I need to remind myself like, Chris, you've accomplished so, so, so much. I've done a video in the past about uh, how to reframe your story into a hero story. I'll link it up in the info card, but we need to remember this. Everybody watching this, every single person watching this video, you have overcome some sort of adversity in your life and you can do it again. And we have have to remind ourselves of these things when we are living in fear. Once I realize that, then my anxiety starts to subside. I can start to calm down. And then I get into the last place, the last place where the anxiety is pretty much non-existent, and that is acceptance. I accept the fact that are certain there are certain situations in my life that I have zero control over, absolutely no control over. Once I can just compartmentalize those things, the things that I have no control over, now, now we do what I talk about on this channel every single day. We focus on the solution. We focus, we pinpoint, we hone in on all of the things that we're in control of. This is acceptance. This is understanding what we can and cannot change. When we focus all of our energy on the things that are within our power and within our control, then we start to succeed. Then we start to overcome our anxiety, okay? But anyways, like I said, please share this video. Like, man, I didn't realize I was gonna get so passionate when I started filming this, but man, share this video. Video. Hopefully it inspires some people. Hopefully it motivates some people. Hopefully it motivated you. Hang on to this video. Come back to this video anytime you find yourself living in fear of change, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And a big thanks to everybody supporting me over on Patreon. And if you would like me to help me spread this message of hope, please click or tap right there and support me on Patreon as well, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Don't fear change, and I'll see you next time.